We're here at Rose Creek. This is part of the Itchituckney Trace. This is one of the northernest most entrances that will allow water to get into the trace. And so because of that, we monitor this quite carefully and put an extensive time into that monitoring because anything that comes into the sink only takes seven days to make it to the Itchituckney River. Today we're going to be diving side mount. Lamar's got his uh, Nomad unit EXP on. I've got my Nomad Expedition unit. We're going to use side mount today uh, by the sheer fact that the cave, it's very large in some places, but where we're going to go today, it's a little bit smaller. The cave has a lot of variety to it. That's what makes it such a great place to dive. There's some tunnels in there that are big enough you could drive a truck through, and there's other ones that are so small that you have to wiggle to get through them. The visibility can change very rapidly at Rose, so you have to be aware of that. There's a lot of silt. Um, a lot of mung on the floor. You can really stir it up, you can lose the line. There's a couple of uh, different jumps and tees in the system that can be a little bit confusing. But the variety makes it a challenging dive, makes it unique, and really makes it interesting. Our job is to help the state monitor this place with their eyes inside the cave. Cave divers can come into a system and figure out what's going on with fauna and other things. We can actually pinpoint where things are going on to help the state make decisions about other sites that affect this site. Not a lot of dives have been done in this place. We've been diving it over the years, but because it's so dynamic, we're changing in the seasons and water flow, floods and everything else, we're still trying to figure out what's going on. 